So we said that amines are your classic organic bases. So now we're going to take a look at that in a little more detail here. And uh, if we simply, you know, if we simply react a, an amine with water here, we can kind of show the flow of electrons here. So act as a base. So protonate it there, and that proton transfer yields this quaternary ammonium ion. Uh, as well as hydroxide, and that's it acting as a base. Now, from a Gen Chem perspective, again, uh, this dissociation water is only partial, is not a strong base from that perspective. Uh, but again, in the context of organic chemistry, we usually think of most amines as being rather strong, or at the very least, moderate. Let's take a little closer look at what might affect the basicity of different amines. Now, the two most significant things that are going to affect basicity of different amines uh, are one, resonance, and two, hybridization. Uh, so if we look at comparing first these two e first examples here, that's a difference in resonance. So uh, this first one, there's no resonant stabilization. If you recall, resonance uh, stabilizes the base, making it a weaker base. So none in this case, and a fairly low PKB, 3.3, and a fairly strong base. Uh, but with aniline here, this lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen being one bond away from pi electrons, there's three additional resonance structures we could draw that show the lone pair being shared by three different carbons on the ring, these three. Uh, and as a result, resonance stabilized that base, making it a much weaker base, as evidenced by the much higher pKb. Now, the other thing we might have to check is, again, a difference in hybridization. So now if we compare these two, so here the lone pair is on a nitrogen that is sp3 hybridized, whereas here in pyridine, the lone pair is on a nitrogen that is sp2 hybridized. Uh, and with the sp2 hybridization, that's a greater s character. That means that sp2 hybrid orbital, on average, that lone pair is going to be closer to the positively charged nucleus, lower its energy, making it less reactive and a weaker base. And that's why, again, it's got a much higher PKB, evidenced, uh, giving evidence to the fact that it is a weaker base. So again, the two biggest things that are going to play a role in affecting our amines are resonance and hybridization. Uh, and then obviously the inductive effect still comes into play uh, kind of the same way it would have for phenols and stuff like that if we start looking at aromatic amines, but in exactly the same way.